Hello fabulous friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bang Bang Von Lula. I'm a burlesque dancer, producer, beauty enthusiast, and a spicy food lover. Today is another episode of my spicy taste test and my makeup hack test. And if you haven't seen these videos on my channel before, what I do is I try a very spicy hot sauce or hot product, and then I try to do a makeup hack I've never attempted before live in front of you. Well, live-ish, this is pre-recorded, but I'm doing it in live time right now. I'm gonna be opening the bottle in front of you and trying the makeup hack for the first time. And yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Just a little side note is that Colorado, especially the area of which I live, is on fucking fire. So I've been holed up in the house because of COVID and also I can't open any of the windows because the smoke is crazy outside. So forgive my bloodshot eyes and my permanent dewy skin finish because it's, it's fucking hot and it's super smoky and this is what it is. So anyway, moving on. So today's hot sauce is exciting because it is actually made in Colorado. I get the Fuego box every month and they give you a collection of different sauces from all over the country. And this one just happens to come from Colorado. This is a small batch hot sauce made by Reaper Robs. And as you can see here, they have the Grim Reaper on the label and Reaper sauce, very simply. As I've mentioned before in my videos, the Carolina Reaper is the current world record holder in the Guinness Book of World Records for the hottest chili pepper. Yes, it is even hotter than the ghost pepper, which we all know kept that very illustrious title of hottest pepper for many years. But then Ed Curry came in and made his pepper, like spliced some shit together and created this like demon pepper pod that is super, super popular within hot sauce. And it's even bleeding into cuisine. And most of the hot sauces I get in my Fuego box are ghost pepper or above in heat. So we're looking at some freaky Scoville units today. In my last hot sauce taste test, I tried Mad Dog 357, which is a hot sauce that has added capsaicin extract in it. And it was pretty brutal. I didn't have that much. I think actually, now that I think back on it, I probably could have had more, but I was really freaked out that I'd have a fucked up reaction to the capsaicin, but it was okay. This sauce is all natural. So I'm gonna go with a bigger spoonful and really try to enjoy it. So the ingredients of Reaper Rob's Reaper sauce are vinegar, lime juice, onion, Carolina Reaper mash, habanero pepper mash, garlic, agave nectar, salt, and spices. I'm really excited for this. I like a mash based sauce because that means they have fermented peppers, usually with salt and sometimes vinegar to create the base. So it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I've never opened this. I saved it just for this video. And I'm gonna just peel this thing off. Also, the sauce says that it's all natural, vegan, and gluten-free, as well as made in the USA, obviously. Hala at Colorado. We actually have quite a few really excellent small batch hot sauce makers in the state. So very excited to try this because I've never tried any of Reaper Rob's sauce before. So I've already given it a good shake. So we're gonna take off this lid, have a sniff sniff. I really don't even know how to describe the scent of this. It's really nice. It seems like it has a really nice blend of spices. They're not specific of what those are on here, but I am very impressed because it seems like it's gonna be a very multi-level flavored sauce, not just because of the peppers. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna take off the little pour cap because that, that's for cowards. Totally just flung that flow cap right across the room. Okay, so here we go. Let me do a little pour here. It's pretty thin, but it's quite a nice consistency. It's actually right where I like it. Not too watery and not too thick. So, all right. We're gonna keep this steady from pour to mouth. Chin chin. Ooh! That is hot! Ooh, but it's good. It's like constricting my vocal cords. My eyes immediately glazed over. Oh, but it's so good. It tastes just like it smells. It has this really great depth of flavor. 
I need to look up and see what the spices are. I'm actually going to say now, maybe it's like oregano in here. But yeah, Reaper sauce by Reaper Rob. Fucking bomb. I'm going to have some more because I'm a madman. Not too much more because I do have to function later. But uh, yes, so here's another little spoonful. Wow, I love it. Ooh, this is literally everything I love about hot sauce. I really am more of a savory kind of a dude. So the fact that it has the pepper mash in there means that it's gonna be more salty and there's not too much added salt after the fact. Um, but sodium's always pretty high in hot sauce generally. But yeah, it's flavorful, it's a little salty, it's super fucking hot and it's all natural, which I prefer. And yeah, whoa. Well done, Reaper Rob. I'm gonna give this a huge thumbs up. I definitely suggest you try it. You can order it through the Fuego website, which is that box that I get every month, but I'm sure that he has his own website too. So yeah, I'll put any details I have on this in the box below. Can you hear that my voice is a little kind of messed up from it? <laughs> it's good though, I like it. The adrenaline's going, I'm sweating even more for that dewy glow. All right, moving right along. So for the makeup hack today, I wanted to try doing that really like fake lip looking like I've had injection sort of overdraw glossy lip thing. Wow, I did not describe that well. Obviously the hot sauce is affecting me a little bit. <laughs> Essentially what I wanna do is fake the look of having lip injections, but not in like the shitty way, like I fucked up my lip injections, but more of like, oh, look at my lip injections that are subtle, but there. So we're gonna try a technique. I kind of looked at a bunch of different videos and I pulled from a few of them and we're going to try a few different things, mostly based around lip liner application and color and just throwing a gloss on it to try to take these bad boys and bring them up. Oh man. I am sweating now, good grief. This makeup is gonna melt right off, so I better get to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is line my whole lip area with a lip liner that is very close to my natural lip color. That color is Rimmel's Lasting Finish Lip Liner in the shade Natural. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. I'm not being super precise with this. I am just trying to make sure that I cover all of my natural lip area. I should have probably mentioned I did exfoliate my lips previously before I started filming. So that is a good first step to take. So now we're gonna take another lip liner that's a couple shades darker than my natural lip color. And this is Ofra's Wine Lip Liner. And I'm just gonna start sort of sketching out my Cupid's bow area and then down below as a whole. I don't know, we're gonna see. I want this to look a little bit more like it's an injection as opposed to I'm obviously overdrawing my lips. And a video I watched uh, suggested that you concentrate on the Cupid's bow area and then kind of more naturally at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go in and see what happens. Okay, that's done. I'm definitely taking these new lips of mine up quite a bit, so ah, we're gonna see how it, how it goes. I'm not too worried about it. Now I'm gonna go in with another lip liner. This is my go-to Color Sensational by Maybelline Totally Toffee Lip Liner. It's just a little bit more cool toned, and I'm gonna continue to build up this overdraw very carefully so it doesn't look too crazy and has multi-dimensional kind of a feel. Okay, so you can see that it looks like I've kind of created a shadow effect. So starting with the natural color lip liner, slightly darker than that, and then slightly darker than that, it gives that illusion that I have more pronounced lips. Lip, hmm, hot sauce drool. So I'm just gonna use my finger and just gently kinda diffuse it out a little bit on the corners. 
For the gloss, I'm just using a simple clear gloss and this is the Stay Glossy Gloss from Rimmel. And I'm just gonna take it directly from the wand because I've already made this thing disgusting before. And we're gonna swipe it all over. That, that's a lot of gloss. Like we're, we're dealing with gloss, goop, slime between my lips, you see that? But that's okay, because this is just a hack experiment. I do feel that it does indeed look like I might have had some work done on my lips. Certainly using the different colored lip liners is key. Even if you're gonna put a colored lipstick on top, like Marilyn Monroe's old trick was to put many different shades to really make the new shape of her lips that was her trademark lip shape. And she would start with a darker color on the outside and do all kinds of magic and it would end up looking very full, very luscious, and more 3D than just doing a swipe of red lipstick. Obviously you're seeing a lot more detail of that shading when you're using a clear gloss, but I am certain that it would work for certain types of lipstick. As far as the experiment goes, I think this is the way to do it. If you really wanna exaggerate your lip shape or change it up a bit, give yourself a little plump up, you can do it with makeup. So don't go run into the needles every time you're like, oh my God, I want my lips to look different. There are ways to use makeup to give the illusion of different things, be it fuller lips, a higher brow, like that's the thing that I love about makeup is that you can use it to change features if you want, or you can use it to enhance the features that you have. So just have to take the time to play with it, do some research and just have fun with it. I'm going to insert a little before and after in here. Hopefully you can tell between the before and after the difference. I definitely can. I really like it, in fact. I didn't know I would so much. Um, a little intense, maybe, right now, <laughs> because I'm sweating like a madman and um, look a little bit like a Brad's doll, but I kinda dig it. To wrap things up, I just wanna give a huge thumbs up to Reaper Rob's Reaper Sauce. This was delicious. I'm gonna use it on all of my food until this bottle is gone, which honestly probably will only take a few days. Also a big thank you to all of those beauty gurus who shared the information about how to give yourself that faux lip injection look. Your information was so, so valuable in learning this process and I just tried it for the first time just now and because of how well you explained it, I was able to follow and I am very, very thankful for you sharing these tips and tricks. I wanna thank you all for supporting me and my channel. I know that things are crazy still as they continue to be, but I hope that my videos give you a little break maybe in the middle of the day and something fun to distract you from the shitty stuff that's going on. Definitely for me, creating these videos gives me a break from that. And I appreciate you all watching because it gives me hope that something can be positive in our lives, even if it's as simple as a makeup tutorial. If you'd like to see more content from me, please do subscribe to my channel. As I've said, every subscriber helps me get closer to my goal. And I really just can't say enough how much I appreciate your support. Until next time, my beautiful, beautiful friends, thank you so much for watching. Remember that the future is bright and I will see you in my next video.